he didn't really know how to pitch. And so he gets tuned up by these D1 hitters because these guys know how to play baseball, right? And the coach says, I think you should redshirt and work on developing. And he says, no. Has a horrendous year. Guess what happens? Pow, right? You get kicked to the curb because you think you can play. You got to show up and play. Or the coach said, I think you need to develop more. You should develop more. Like, it's okay to develop. Like, take a, what do we call it, a dead year or something yeah, like that? Yeah. yeah. Gather. Year. You can yeah. sign up for gap year training right here in San Diego, California. Come down, join our unlimited program. We'll take care of you hitting, pitching, strength training, live at bats, arm care, health. College season team coming soon. Pretty excited about that. Going to play 20 games season. <laughs> Back to you. That was the best segue <laughs> I ever grew up. <laughs> I just saw it. I had to. I had to jump on it. So that that's kind of the, the last thing that I really want to say is just like I got a lot of guys that want to go to college for a lot of different things. Like there's a kid that wants to play two sports in college, and I'm all for it, right? But he's said out on D1 and I just had to break it to him I was like hey man if you would have been D1 you're a junior it would have happened by now I'm not saying it won't but for you to play two sports D1 one of those you've already would have committed to and he's like you're right and I'm like I'm not saying don't but I'm saying why not go to a really good D2 school where maybe that's possible right he's like what do you mean I'm like not every D2 school has super stacked baseball and basketball right or whatever sport football and baseball right one of those is going to have a little bit downtime because it's not a D1 school, right? You don't have the marketing and the travel and the this and the that, right? Because that's a, that's a thing, dude. Like, I couldn't imagine playing football for, like, Oklahoma, right? And just, like, traveling. And then, like, I also want to go play baseball this year, right? It's like, bro, you're probably not doing anything till December. Like, honestly, you're probably not doing anything. So yeah. if that's your goal, again, the two-sport guy, Guys that are out there, which I want you to exist because I want a Bo Jackson, I want a Deion Sanders, I want it. <laughs> Go where it's possible. I'm for it. I'm for I'm it. So, so for it. Like, I really want it so bad. I'm pretty sure <sighs> if it was a like pitch, Oklahoma I State, like that would be more possible. I, if it was like I think a it's wide like, receiver, I, and also I think the pass. quarterback, I, I'm not, I'm not Oklahoma State, maybe somebody like that. Uh, quarterback, center fielder right now, uh, uh, UCF. UCF. UCF, yes. yes. Quarterback center fielder. Oh, so Love that. Hey, Jameis was QB right fielder closer. Yes. Stealing crab legs out the Lucky's parking lot, too. Just... Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. For sure. But um, anything else you want to close this out on? Um, No, that was great. Always fun catching up, talking strategy. Love that. Um, Let's get something in June on the books that we can, if that's what we, I think we yeah. said June, something like that. We got um, two more weeks of crazy high school season, and then I think, we're ready I, for the I think we do, too. I think we have two weeks more, too. So we're going to start putting some summer training stuff out as well. So we're excited about all those things. We will be having summer training and other really, really fun stuff coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please DM us if you have any questions about anything. Thank you, guys. Later, dude.